All right, man. It is currently 2.15 in the morning. I'm not tired. I'm wide awake, not sleepy in the slightest. I was watching TV. I remembered we were talking on a live stream uh, not that long ago. If y'all haven't checked out the live streams, y'all gotta catch one one of these days. I'm gonna get back into it, I promise. I just, honestly, I just haven't felt like it for a little bit, but I'll get into it eventually. We were talking on that live stream about like childhood shows and like stuff that like most of y'all probably don't know about because my demographic is really weird. Like my demographic is is majority adults. Like it's 18 to 25, I think is my demographic or 18 to 24. Uh, and when I stream, the people who are usually in there are between like 16 and 20, 21 ish, couple 23 year olds. Uh, I think there was one person, uh, I can't remember, I think it was Guess, I think it was Guess. I can't remember your exact age, but he's like married with a kid and stuff. It's like there's, we're all kind of in the same like general like 10 year age gap, right? And we got to talking about like iCarly and Victorious and that whole Dan Schneider, ugh, right? And like how it's kind of weird watching it back and then like, we were talking about like, but it's still good, and shows like that would never work now. And then we were talking about spinoffs, and we got to talking about Sam and Cat. And then the Gibby side spinoff show got brought up, and I was like, "There's a Gibby spinoff? Like when? Like I heard about it. I thought I heard about it. I think I heard Noah Monk speak about it, but like." I thought it was like a joke. Apparently, they like actually were going through with it. Apparently, it was back in 2012, almost exactly, what, eight years ago? I, y'all, someone asked me, it was Andrew, shout out to Andrew. Uh, I'm gonna link his channel in the description if I remember, if I don't. Andrew, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> He just randomly asked me and was like, yo, watch the Gibby spinoff. And I was like, I don't, I don't know if that's like, whatever, I'll do it. Why not? So here's the Gibby spinoff. <laughs> nah, this is nasty. First of all, what is going on here? The, the quality is dog, dog shit, you know? But hey, we can't complain. It's not like a real, real thing. Let me turn my volume up because my earbuds is kind of, kind of low. What is going on? Is this the Drake and Josh classroom? Oh no, I remember this classroom. Ugh. Look, I don't want to make this a whole Dan Schneider is evil and he's a creep pedophile, but come on, bro. Like, why do we got a kid's show and these are supposed to be, like, high schoolers and they're doing, like, not in that way, but kind of. Like, why are they doing butt stuff, like, in a kid's show? This is... Uh... I don't know, bro. It's kind of... Uh, Principal Franklin? Yo! <laughs> Yo, no, 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 no. I'm already understanding why this wasn't a thing. Like, this is the this is an argument that I was making 
in the stream. I don't think, and don't get me wrong when I say this, I love Gibby as a character. I love iCarly. I love all of those shows from back in the day, right? I don't think Gibby, the guy who all he did was take off his shirt, say Gibbe, and do some dumb shit and kind of come in clutch at points, I don't think he's a character that's strong enough to carry an entire show. It's like trying to make a Victoria spinoff of just Beck and Robbie. Who the fuck wants to watch a show of just Beck and Robbie? It would be kind of cool at points, but it's not. And more importantly, just do a spinoff of just Robbie, right? Like, who wants to watch a show with just Robbie? Anyone? I'm sure there's someone, but it's not a majority of people. I remember when I was in college and even when I was in high school and we were doing like film classes and we were talking about producing TV and producing films and, and you know, major motion pictures and stuff like that. You have to think about your demographic and especially when it comes to spinoffs, you have to think about not only who are fan favorites, not only who do people love seeing, not only what do people love seeing, but you have to also anticipate who you should put your product behind. It's like you don't have a lead actor that gets overshadowed by the supporting cast. There's never a movie that Tom Cruise is in where Tom Cruise isn't the best actor in the movie. That's for a reason. He's a lead actor for a reason. You're not going to find another lead actor than Tom Cruise in that scenario, right? It's no different than, you know, Marvel movies with Robert Downey Jr. You're not going to find a better lead actor than Robert Downey Jr. He's not going to be a supporting character. It's not in his DNA. It's not in his stardom. You get a character like Gibby. Gibby is not a main character. He is a side character. The point of a spinoff is to give a side character a main character story. And if the side character is not strong enough of a character to carry an entire narrative on their own, they're going to end up relying on other supporting characters or other nostalgia acts to try to lift up what's already bad. Just my thought. I don't. I didn't mean to go on like on that big rant, but I can already see why this isn't working super well. Typical Nickelodeon show. I don't know if I can do this, bro.
why. I, can I, like, I'm just going to skip forward a little bit, bro. I'm not trying to hear. I'm not, I'm not enjoying any of that. Bro, that's some white people shit. <laughs> Hey, yo! <laughs> like the kids are cool I guess but like and like the unpopular kids joke it made me chuckle a little bit but like this episode is literally just Gibby hanging out with some little kids and people getting bit on the dick and ass by a weasel. That's that's the show. I feel like I've seen this kid somewhere though, the, the 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 black kid. I feel like I've seen him somewhere, but I don't know where. Ah. Oh. I don't like this, and and I'm not gonna tell y'all why. Y'all know why. Y'all can y'all are adults. Figure out why. Also, since when was Gibby getting hoes? Since when could a Gibby pull girls? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Cause Gibby was not. He was not like that in iCarly. Now, all of a sudden, when they're not around, he's like that. Also, what happened to Carly and them? Is this around that time when Carly went to, like, Paris or something? Like, she left somewhere? I don't remember. Where's Freddie at, though? Like, there's so many questions unanswered. Ain't no way they playing Carly Red Jepsen right now. Hey, 
Nah, she on his ass. Man, that's two hours. Relax, game. Oh, no. No, I don't like this. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is this is a very tough, tough watch. <laughs> maybe it's just like it's not my humor. Like maybe 2012, I was 11 years old. I'm trying to think of other shows that came out in 2012 to try to compare to if I was even still watching this type of stuff. I think I was watching like The Walking Dead and like Breaking Bad around this point. It. I think I just grew up too early, like. Like this, this shit ain't hitting at all. I understand why it never got greenlit. They're bumping Flow Rider. Yuck. Yo, lock Dan Schneider up. Lock him the fuck up now. If he's not in a prison cell right now, put him there. Throw away the key. What the fuck is... What am I watching? She told him to fill the basketball up and put sunscreen on the children. And he put sunscreen on the basketball. So what do you think he did to the kids? No, bro. No. Oh, 
I'll follow you is crazy. <laughs> That's me for a I'm sorry, bro. Like this is not good. It's 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 just really not like I. It's I'm struggling to get through this. Genuinely, like it. It's too creepy. It's too. There's too many weird undertones already. It's not even funny. Like it's not genuinely funny. It's just like a couple hee hees. At best. I'm going to skip through again, bro. I I would, but I need at least one person to play with who is not lame. I'm sorry. No, no. Okay. Of course you had a great time, because because this was such a fantastic episode. Mm-hmm.
I just. Oh, there's still more. There's still more. I thought this was the end of the episode. Sure. What? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> hey, why is she whipping his ass though? There we go. Of course. No. 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 Okay, I've seen enough, bro. I've seen I've seen enough. No, there's there's no way. There's no way in hell. This show should have never been a thing. Thank God it wasn't an actual thing. This pilot sucked. Whoever wrote it, I hope you don't have a job, or at least I hope you got put somewhere where they made you relearn how to write, and I hope you improved. Because this, this right here ain't it. You took everything that was great about a show that all of us loved as kids and you stripped everything from it and you made a corny TV show. Corny comedy, corny writing, the power of friendship. You got grown-ass men robbing a 16-year-old boy and the worst that they did was squeeze his thumb. I get it's a TV show, but like if you're going to come up with a plot point Maybe don't try to do something that's that serious that you can't put smoke and mirrors behind to make it seem a little bit more dramatic. I remember back in the day, I watched a show like Kicking It, and when motherfuckers was robbing the store, they at least squabbled. They got down with, with Jack. Did they put hands on him? No, but they tried, and Jack beat their ass, and it was impressive, and it was cool. This, this is not good. This is... 
this is worse than Sam and Cat. Like, it's bad, bro. But hey, man, that's Gibby. <laughs> Shout out to Gibby, man. 